Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Nikki, and I am a nurse coaching consultant. And I'm going to share with you that if you're going to teach about race, you need to stay grounded, right? So in my workbook, The Clinician's Guide to Microaggressions and Unconscious Bias, I discuss a concept called grounding. And grounding for me personally is really just a process of staying present, staying focused and finding my breath. A lot of the times when you're teaching about something that's polarizing, like race, people are going to get uncomfortable. They're going to get tense. They're going to get even anxious. And I know for me, even sometimes when I'm teaching about it, I get anxious as well. I mean, I'm teaching the new people. I don't really know how they'll perceive it or take it. So I use grounding as a mechanism to keep me calm as well. And what I have found is that when I've extended this practice and shared it with my, my nursing students, that they have found it also really helpful so that they can continue this dialogue. So in the most simplest form, when, I te when I'm teaching a small group of students, I just use a simple mindful grounding practice, which is breath work. And I have students to breathe for anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. And then I just have them notice what they're feeling. I try to have them notice what they're feeling before and then take a moment and notice to what they're feeling after. Because it's such an important part of this work, we cannot do the work of racial justice purely in our head. This work is also a part of our body. And so we have to bring that element into it. And what I have found as a result of doing this is that students have told me they have felt calmer. They have felt like they are able to engage in the conversation even easier. And they have this as a resource and a tool even better. That's the part that I like the most. Now, if you're going to be teaching a larger group, say a class of, you know, 50 to 60 students or more, or even 30, then I would recommend a slightly different technique. And it's called the 54321 grounding technique. You've probably heard of it. You may have used it before, but it's a way to minimize anxiety. And essentially, all you're doing is giving folks a moment to close their eyes to take a moment to shut down a little bit. And what you're trying to get them to do is to notice five things that they can see, four things that they can touch, three things that they can hear, two things that they can smell, and one thing that they can taste. Now, you may not get to all of those things. They may not be able to find something for all those things. But what it does in the body is it produces a calming response. It relaxes the nervous system enough for them to focus more on the conversation and what's directly in front of them. So these are just some ways that I create safety in my classroom, create safety with my students, and then help them if they need a tool to resource to, to have as a resource for calming down, to have that as a tool for later. So if you want to learn more about some grounding practices and ways to teach about racial justice, check out my workbook. It's a great tool to give you some tips and ideas and strategies. And of course, continue to follow me on social media. Thanks so much. Take good care.